Well, you can. Like, you can. You have some social things that people can do with Kai and with all these other players who have a party group. I'll tell you what the core experience was like. How do you feel like you're going to be able to transition to the group? Yeah, I think it's going to be baby steps for sure, but I feel like I can do a lot to help this team. Um, just, you know, continuing to learn how to play through the physical contact, the, adjust to the quickness of the game. But, I, you know, I feel like I can use my athleticism, my length, a lot to help. You kind of have a non-stop trip there with Bum. You know, you want to bring that to USA and come back there. How do you want to play as a How do you create a good chance between events and get mentally prepared for this? Um, I think it's just definitely leaning on my village. I have a really great group of people around me. So um, taking time to spend time with people I love, um, meditation, mindfulness, because life is really busy right now, but I know it won't always be like this. So. But just also like gratitude. Like you, it's easy to get really negative and like, oh, I'm so tired all the time, but you know, who, who gets to do this? So I'm just very thankful. I don't know. I'll just have one more. You were, you were so passionate and Yeah, I think a part of me was maturing was kind of learning how to control my emotions, not being such a roller coaster. So, you know, it's great. I love, you know, that I'm passionate about just been balancing it. But I think just today, you know, Ari was in that national championship game with me. And so, wish she made a tough shot today. I'm just cheering louder for her than I am for me. Like, I love to cheer for my teammates. Um, and just be silly. Like, it's fun. We get to play a game. So, um, I love her. I love playing with her today. She was my point guard today. So, it's just been great. But yeah, I think just not trying to be like this more consistently positive. So women are so great. Yes. <laughs> so, so Cameron, it's only been about two weeks since you know you got drafted. You know, first of all, how excited were you just overall to finally? I'm sure this was a dream of yours to try to get to the league here. How did that night feel for you? Um, I mean, it's still surreal. I'm still kind of processing everything that's happening in my life right now. But um, it, it was a dream come true. I was with my family, the most important people in my life, and it was just a really emotional moment. And then I just got to savor it and just. Really, I don't know. It's just so crazy to think about. But I'm here and I'm loving it. So. And what are you loving so far about the city of Los Angeles overall? Like, you know, just being here. It's just so much to do. What have you gotten? Have you even gotten any chance to go get out there and do anything? Yeah, the food, the Mexican food here is really good. Yes, I love tacos. Um, this, the weather. Oh my God. Yes. But the people too. I mean, the team has been really welcoming to me. I love Dierica. She's like my second mom already. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, honestly, everything. I feel like this is the city for me. So what, what advice has uh, Dierica gave you so far? Gosh, a lot. She said, never let anyone see you cry, so I'm working on that. Um, she also said, just enjoy it. Training camp's hard, but just lean on your bets. So, yeah, I mean, it's definitely, like, not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but, <laughs> <laughs> but still really hard. Right. But I think I'm ready for it. You're ready for it. Well, you, well, you got a game, what, in about a week or so from now, right? Four more practices. Four more practices, yeah. and you got that. So what did, what, what, how excited are you just to get onto the court? I'm really excited. I know that um, I still have a lot of growth to do in those four practices, but I feel like, um, you know, it goes back to my freshman year. You know, first time, you know, I just feel like a freshman again. But that's great because I just have all this energy to bring to the team. So we'll see how it goes. All right, one more for me, uh, you know. Today, big announcement, you know, Candace Parker announced her retirement. You know, she grew up with this team here. Yeah. She left a few years ago, but what do you overall look at Candace Parker? Like, what, what comes to your mind about her legacy? Um, I, I think she's kind of the epitome of, like, doing both. Like, I think she's beautiful off-court, on-court. She has this amazing persona. She's obviously changed the game for, you know, bigger players, taller, longer players. So I think she's really been able to do everything in her career. And, you know, it's an honor to be playing, you know, with the Sparks where she was so dominant. So I'm just very thankful. And, um, proud of her, honestly. Thank you. Thanks.